I'm so happy to be here with you. Amen. My name is uh, Timothy Yip. If you look on YouTube, you look for Pastor Yip, spells Y-I-P, Pastor Yip, Y-I-P. And Facebook, YouTube and Facebook, Pastor Yip, you'll see my videos. You'll see uh, preaching and also how many people experience the Holy Spirit. Amen. God is very real. God can be experienced. Amen. When I first believed in Jesus, I was exposed to know that there are many proofs that God is real. At that time, I studied the evidence from nature. Nature shows that there is a creator. Amen. And even the fossils, you know, many people said the fossils prove evolution. Actually, it does not. But that's something that takes time to explain. The fossils proves that there is creation because it suddenly appear many kinds of living thing. It did not come out gradually. And then from one kind to another kind, there's no change. It's always one kind and there is no intermediate form. So it shows that there is a creator that creates different kinds of animals and plants. And then so when I first believed in Jesus, I studied this evidence. And the Bible has many prophecies that clearly prophesy many things. Like Jesus, before Jesus came, it prophesied that his hands and feet will be pierced, nailed to the cross. And at that time, there was no such thing as crucifixion. That was 1,000 years before Jesus' time. The Bible already said that he will be crucified. Now, how did they know that the son of David coming to that time right before the destruction of Jerusalem? Because the Bible said that Jesus will come and then he'll be crucified and then Jerusalem will be destroyed. And it all happened in the right time. So the last son of David, the descendant of David, he's the king that God promised that one day the Savior will come. And then he will come and then he will be crucified and Jerusalem will be destroyed. And all this came to be true, that it was fulfilled in uh, AD 70. Jesus was crucified at AD 30, 30 AD. And then 40 years with the same generation, Jerusalem was destroyed according to the prophecy in the Bible. The Bible has many prophecies. And I became, I, I, I believe in Jesus in 1970. And then I was a pastor in 1983. And 15 years after I became a pastor, in 1998, I experienced something extraordinary from God. An evangelist laid his hand on me in a meeting. And I felt power like electricity enter me. And I felt overwhelming love. Feel my heart so strong, so powerful, that I cried for a long time. I didn't know. I can experience God like that. At the same time, I felt burdens go away. I felt uh, a peace. And I also smell a sweet aroma like oh, from oh, heaven. Oh, oh, oh. And I said, this is wonderful that I can experience God like that. Mm -hmm. And after that, I spent a, a long time praying every day. And every time when I cried to Jesus, I felt power go through me. I said, Lord Jesus, there's power. And later I had joy when I experienced the day when I, when I experienced the joy of the Lord. You know, I saw people, some people, they experienced joy flowing out. I said, wow, that's wonderful. <laughs> so on a day when I experienced the joy of the Lord, I said, I want to keep that. And, and when I went home on the way, I, you know, it was public transportation. But I kept laughing without making the sound. So I went like this. On the way. Filled with the joy of the Lord. I want to keep that joy of the Lord. And when I went home, I kept praying. And the next day, and the next day, and I kept until today. That every time when I think of Jesus, the joy will come. Hallelujah. And His love will come. Amen. And His power will go through my whole person. Yes. That He became very real to me. Yes. And what is extraordinary is that, that I, uh, some people ask me to lay hand on them. And then when I lay it on, on them, they experience healing or power or repentance or change of life or joy. That has happened so many times. In these last few days, I've been doing uh, meetings at uh, Pastor um, uh, Wycliffe's church. Uh, and then for this week, from Monday to Saturday night, I also uh, am doing training. So if you 
uh, you can find out from the pastor where it is, and you can go for training how to be filled with the Holy Spirit, how to handle different problems, worries, and uh, uh, burdens, and bad dreams, or demons, or sickness, whatever, that you can experience blessings from God. And in Mark chapter 16, it says that, you know, Jesus said, go to all creation and preach the gospel, and he who believes and is baptized will be saved. And then it says, and signs, that means miracles, will follow those who believe. Hallelujah. And you will cast out demons in my name. And then in, when you lay hands on the sick, they will be healed. And I saw this happen today so many times. Now the first time they experienced healing, I, it was a surprise. I didn't know that the healing can come so real. In a meeting, I pray for some people and then I ask them, did you experience anything? And a woman jumped up, wow, my back ache is healed. <laughs> and and a woman jumped up and said, my shoulder ache is healed. And it was total surprise. And I said, I didn't know that. God can be so real. And after that, all kinds of things happen. One time I prayed for a woman who heard about my meeting and she came travel a long way to that place because I go to mission field in different countries. And this person came a long way and she said she has breast cancer and she had pain for over a month. And the doctor diagnosed that to, to be cancer. And then, and I prayed for her, I said, relax and open your heart and trust in Jesus and put down all your burdens. And she kept praying, you know, praising God and I lay hand on her. And then she says she felt some power pushing her breast. And she looked, there was nobody's hand there. And she felt some dark power left her breast. And then she felt joy. And she was filled with the holy laughter. And <laughs> she was laughing. And afterwards she had no pain. She had pain for over a month. And then when she went back to her home village and have her examined, and the doctor said there is no cancer. Amen. And I have, this happened to me time and again, that I have one cancer patient who said, who was in great pain, and, and then I said, uh, can I pray for you? I've seen healing, I, I've, although I cannot promise healing because I'm not God, yeah. but I've seen healing and many people feel better and get well. And then I said, are you willing? He said, uh, yes. And then I prayed for him and asked him what he experienced. He said at that time he was in pain. And after the prayer he said, wow, I feel, I feel comfort over my body. And then he said, wow, this is wonderful. So I led him to believe in Jesus. And then he went home. And then he had pain again and he prayed again. And then the comfort came again. So he told his two daughters that, and then late, Actually, that was the only time that I saw that man. I did not know that man before. I just saw the man in a hospital. And then later that man died, but the two daughters found my card and called me up and said, would you do my father's funeral? Because he has told, me, told us about you and how he experienced uh, comfort to the body. And I prayed for them. And then they, they said, uh, I asked them what they experienced. And one, one daughter said, ah, I feel like floating up. <laughs> and the other person said, yes, I feel too. I feel like floating up. And I led them to Christ and then they were, went to my church and then they were baptized and then they followed Christ and, <laughs> and their family members also believe in Jesus. Amen. Then I've seen miracles like this. This is what the Bible promised that miracles will follow those who believe. And when you follow Jesus, when you love Jesus, it's not just believing in Jesus. Some, say, some people say, I believe in Jesus, I get all kinds of problems. Because you might be fighting, yelling at home, you might be angry, frustrated. Then when you are living in sins and burdens, you will not have the full blessings of God. Amen. And the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and Amen. His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Amen. So when we seek His kingdom, that means... You ask God, please bring salvation, the kingdom of salvation, of grace to more people, and also the kingdom of lordship of God. That means let your heart be the place where God rules. You know, believe in Jesus, you are saved, that's the truth. When we, you know, we're saved by grace through faith, that is the truth. But that is half of the truth. The other half is faith without work stand and if we are saved then we have a close relationship with him and obey him 
and then God will bless us. Only those who believe in Jesus, now when you believe in Jesus, you have eternal life. But when you really believe in Jesus, then your life will change. That shows that you are really born again. If you just believe but you are not changed, then you are not born again and you don't have eternal life. But when you trust in Jesus as a Savior and you let Jesus talk to you, He will talk to you if you repent of sin and ask Him. He will talk to you and He will bring repentance. He will tell you, it's not right to be angry with your spouse, even though he might not be nice to you, but you still forgive and you bless. And you just don't take the words seriously. Don't take negative words seriously. That's one key thing. Now, when on Friday, I can talk more about that, how to handle negative words from people. Negative words from people are like garbage. They are from Satan. They are from sinful nature. Don't take those things seriously. And you can have compassion on the people who hurt you because they have been hurt. So when they hurt you, it's that nature. So you accept that and say, he's more miserable than I am. He doesn't have Jesus. And so you can pray for them and bless them. That way your life will change. Lord. Let me tell you, in my life, in every area, I let the Lord be my king in every area. Now this is a picture of me and my wife. And we, you know, we communicated a few times and whenever we can even when I'm here. And uh, we talk on the phone and we can see a video phone, uh, see each other on a video phone. And here on my cell phone too, you can see her picture. I want to build up a really good marriage, a marriage pleasing to God. Between us there is no Anger, frustration is always positive words. If there are problems, she will tell me and I will listen. And I thank her for telling me things that need to change. Amen. And when she is emotional, I will tell her, you are a little emotional now. And then she will calm down. Hallelujah. Now, so I want to build up a good marriage. That is, let the kingdom of God come into our heart. Amen. Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and obey Him. And all these things will be added to you. Amen. And your life will be blessed. Let me tell you, I'm blessed in every area. Amen. I'm 64 years old. Amen. But I play tennis with power. I can surf with power. And I have muscles. And God give me health and strength and a good wife yes. and the provision so that I can go to different countries Amen. to revive spiritual life of people and train yes. people. God gave me the vision to train pastors and people who are willing to serve God that you can do great things for God. <coughs> Each one of you can do great things for Amen. God. And you know, I will pray for you that you will experience the Holy Spirit and you every day spend longer time to pray for Him, to pray to Him, and you experience His presence. Now time is limited, I know, you know, not much time. But what I'm going to, I'm going to do is, I'm going to pray for a whole group, and I'm going to go quickly around and lay hands on you very quickly, and you might feel a peace coming into you. You might feel comfort coming to you. Peace to the heart, or burdens go away, or comfort to the body, and you know that is the real presence of God. And then you say, Lord, thank you. And then keep the anointing by praying to God. And when you are teaching, you can be talking to Jesus at the same time. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, Help me to bless the children. Yes. Help me to love them. Then when you do that, God's presence will be with you. Now, for those there, because there are a, a, three rows of people. So could you come over so there are two rows so that I can reach you with my laying on the hands. And so everyone please close your eyes right now. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Come forward. Come forward. I would quickly now, because usually it takes longer time to lay hand on people. And now I'm doing very quickly. I'm just going to demonstrate for one person. Close your eyes. Oh, Lord Jesus, thank you, Father. Oh, you are Hallelujah. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you. Keep, keep 
with your eyes closed, have you experienced anything during the prayer? I just now pray for you. Did you experience anything in your heart or over your body? Can, what, can you tell what, what you experienced just now? Very loud. Speak out. It's like something is just moving over my body. Something's leaving my body. Something's leaving your body. Something's moving onto your body. So that's how the Holy Spirit coming upon you. I just pray for her in a short time. But I have to go over you very quickly. So please open your heart. Hunger for God. Lord Jesus, I need you. I want you. And I invite you to do this. Cry from the heart like this. Oh, <laughs> you cry from the heart and like think of your soul ascending to God. Your spirit ascending to God to love Him. And then when you do that, you can experience joy. Some of you might experience joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Set her free. Set her free. Oh, Hallelujah. Can you share what happened to you when I pray for you? Can you say it loudly? Did you experience anything? I saw something heavy coming. Uh, something. Say, uh, speak loudly, please. Loudly, so that everyone. Something that is heavy coming out of my head. Hallelujah. Something heavy came out from her. Hallelujah. Open your heart. The Holy Spirit is upon you. Oh, hallelujah. The reason why I asked them to share is to encourage you. Have you experienced anything? Something is coming out from me. Something is coming out from your, from your body. Huh? Thank God. Hallelujah. So you see, God is very real. God is living. God is living. He is right here. Thank God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus, fill him all the way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You want to share anything happened to you? Thank you, Father. Sir? Thank you, Jesus. Can you speak loudly? Yes. Uh, uh, can you speak louder? Yes, I said I felt the Holy Spirit towards my body. The Holy Spirit oh. telling him his body. Oh. Now I'm gonna ask I'm not gonna ask anymore now because I have to go through quickly. But when you experience a peace coming to you, burdens go away, or power coming to you, you thank God. And you continue to pray. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, I need you. I need you. I need you. I worship you. I adore you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I need you. I love you. I love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. This man experienced the power. Can you share what you have experienced? Can you share loudly? Can you talk? Can you just? What have you experienced? Oh, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. Man, that's the peace of God. Uh, uh, in Jesus' name, set her free. In Jesus' name, set her free. In Jesus' name, set her free. Now, what I'm telling you is when you experience God, or you hear other people experience God, I hope you remember God is real, and you believe in Jesus and follow Jesus. Don't ever fall away from Jesus, because that's the worst thing. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Can you share what happened to you? Oh, can you share what happened to you? Oh, Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Just, just hold it. Just hold it. Hold Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome, Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. We need you. We need you. We need you. We need you. We welcome you. Oh, now, try not to lean against the wall, please. Don't lean against the wall. Stand free. Because that way you can feel the swaying power of the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit. And I just want to bless you and ask God's blessing upon you and that you will follow God. Are you willing to follow God? Are you willing to believe in Jesus and follow Him? Would you pray after me? You see how real God is. You know, I've driven out demons from many, many people. It's very real. They are real demons and God is real. Can you say this prayer with me now from your heart? Please close your eyes. Dear Lord Jesus, Dear Lord Jesus thank you. Thank you. you are wonderful. You are wonderful.
are so real. You are so real. You have come to bless me. We can experience your peace. We can experience burdens go away. We can experience your love. And we can experience your healing. You are a real God. Please help us to trust in you as our Savior. We are sinners. We have sinned against people. We have been angry. We have yelled at people. We have hurt people's feelings. We have told lies. Please forgive our sins. I'm sorry for my sins. I'm sorry for my lust. For any kind of sinful action I've committed. Please forgive me. Wash me clean with the blood of Jesus. I accept Jesus as my Savior. Please come into my heart to be my Savior, to be my God. I need you, Jesus. I want to follow you, Jesus. I want to have eternal life. I don't want to go to hell. Please bless my person. Bless my health. Bless my family. Bless my life. Help me to follow you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We want to worship you and love you. Hallelujah. We want to go to church. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now I hope you really follow Jesus and you'll have blessings from now on when you follow him. So go to a church. You can go to Pastor Wycliffe Church or other churches. And the most important thing is that in your heart you really repent of sin and trust in Jesus and obey Him and read the Bible. Yeah. Now what you share would encourage the, your teachers. Would you share what happened to you? Can you share? And... A man. A man. I'm in another place, I'm in another room. Man. Not normal. Man. Thank you, Father, for the new experience. Man. It's so beautiful. Man. It is beautiful. Thank you. Man. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Can you say it again? Oh. Clearly, loudly. What? Yes. I feel like I'm floating somewhere. I'm not with them. There's Man. something that is so new. There's a new beginning. There's Man. something which is coming into Man. my life today. Man. It's so joyous. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Amen. I hope you really remember this. No matter what you experience, you remember other people's experience. Thank you. Do you want to share? Okay, can you come forward? Come forward. Speak loudly. Thank you. What's different? What you are doing, I saw you when I was sleeping. I saw him. Exactly the way he is. Amen. I saw him over the night. Jesus. And I was asking God, who is this man? The way he has cut, I saw him to do my vision. Yes. Amen. And then what did you see in the dream? You saw me in a dream, right? So how was the dream? Thank you. You, you were praying to us like this. Then you came to me. Thank you. <laughs> So she saw me in a dream the night before and she saw her experience and God is so real. God knows you by name. God knows you. And I saw you in the hairstyle of the head. Everything. And he came to me and he told me it is why. So when I saw him in the car in the morning, I was asking God, is it the man of God I saw? Then he came and did exactly what I saw. I thank God for this. Glory to God. Glory to God. You have the gift of visions. And I pray that you will follow God more and you see visions more clearly. Take care of different problems in your life. Hallelujah. 
isn't God real? And isn't God good? So He knows your life. He knows your plan. Now, I have other people saw me in dreams before. She's not the first person. That they saw me before they knew me. And it's just testifying that God knows what we are doing. God knows. Hallelujah. Now, there's one woman back there. Uh, the woman in black. You want to share? Hallelujah. Oh, come forward. Don't lean against the wall. I will go quickly to pray for everyone. Oh, I don't have too much time, so because come, I don't. Come and share what, what you've experienced. Just share, just share around. Je Jesus told people to share their testimonies. Eh? From here to there, what? Man. This side to. And how do you feel in your heart? It's a hard part. The, you know, the, the Bible says that, that the love of God is poured into our heart by the Holy Spirit. Romans 5, 5. That God can pour the love of God into our heart, that you can experience love and joy. When you see how real God is, I hope you will say, yes, I want to be ready for heaven. Can you say together, I want to be ready for heaven. I want to be ready for heaven. I want to believe in Jesus. I want to follow Jesus. Obey Jesus. I want to pray more. I want to love Jesus. I want to love people. I tell people about Jesus. I want to spend more time praying. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is my King. When I follow Jesus, my whole life will be blessed. Hallelujah. I want to tell people how wonderful Jesus is. I want to tell people how people experience the Holy Spirit here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Spirit is powerful upon her. All anointing come upon her. Anointing come upon this woman of God. Anointing comes upon her. Oh Lord Jesus, bless her with the strong presence of God, with the power of God, the love of God, the wisdom of God. Oh Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, don't just say, how come she experienced like that? Let me tell you, it doesn't matter what we experience. Some people experience freedom, or, or joy, or burdens go away, or sadness go away, and then they say, wow, it's so wonderful. That's so the response might be very strong, but it's not like that all the time. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. When you are okay, you can share what you experienced. She has anointing of the Holy Spirit upon her. <coughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, can you share what you experienced? This woman here. This woman here. Can you share? The whole time we started this speaking, I felt power coming upon me. It's like the whole body, I could feel it even right now. It was from my legs. It's like something is coming in, in my body. I think for the time you started speaking, I felt it and I said yes. Can you speak louder please? Can you speak louder? I said from the time you started speaking, I felt something flowing in my body. Even right now, I can feel it. I can feel it. Man. Now she's experiencing the heavenly joy. The heavenly joy. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. That is joy from heaven. It's like joy in heaven. You want to share what you experience? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your wonderful work. 
Would this lady share? Would this lady share? That's her. Hallelujah. Amen. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Hallelujah. Amen. I feel that joy that I have never experienced. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Glory to God. Glory to God. It's not man's work. It's God's work. Say it. It's God's work. It's God's blessing. I want to follow God. I want to love God.